Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed. And today we're visiting Reunion Tower during the day and during the night here in Dallas, Texas. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting Reunion Tower, which is right there in the background, as you can see. Reunion Tower is one of the most, if not the most recognizable structures in the Dallas city skyline. And that's why I'm excited to tell you that we're visiting twice, once during the day and the second time at night, just to check out both experiences and tell you which one I would recommend. So if that interests you, come with me. We talked a little bit about Reunion Tower in the last video on this channel. In that video, we go around and visit different cool and interesting locations in downtown. We had a lot of fun in that video, so please check it out if you're interested. I'll leave it in the description down below. In that video, I mentioned how Reunion Tower is basically the space needle of Dallas. You can go all the way to the top to check out the views of the city. You can also visit the restaurant and have lunch or dinner. And lastly, you can take part of one of the many events that are hosted by the tower itself make sure to check out their website in there you will find different ticket options including of course the general admission group tickets and what we are doing today the day and night ticket which allows you to come here once during the day and once at night which is a pretty cool concept the easiest way to get to reunion tower is of course driving but then you have to drive there you have to find a parking space and then you have to pay for parking so if you are already in the downtown area i would strongly recommend that you walk i recommend walking because you can get amazing shots of the tower from a distance as you're getting closer and building that anticipation. I am currently standing at the Reunion parking lot which is a block away from the train station here in downtown and check it out this is the view that you get from here. I really like it because you can get the tower in full from here which is really hard to do because it's so tall. That is Reunion parking lot where I was standing just now and like I said, we are only a block away from the train station in downtown. I want to go there to the parking lot and see what kind of views we get from there. And these are the views that you can get from the downtown Dallas train station parking lot. Check that out. It looks like it has a halo on it. I think it's about time for us to head up there. So let's go, guys. So after you go through security, they take you into this elevator. And at the moment, I am by myself, so it's even more amazing. And I'm gonna get to show you this amazing view from the window. At least that's what he said. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, we got some really cool views from the elevator itself. So I cannot wait to check out the views from around the tower. Check it out you guys, that is downtown right there. You can see the tallest skyscrapers around this area. And if you go and look down here, that is actually the train station from where I was recording from just a few minutes ago. And that over there to the side is the parking lot as well. It is so interesting you guys how just yesterday we were around that area taking video of the buildings from the bottom up and right now we're doing just the opposite. Actually you guys I'm gonna show you from here some of the locations that we visited yesterday to pique your interest that way if you want to check it out you'll do that. So our day yesterday started right there that is Pioneer Plaza. Let me go ahead and zoom in. It is right there. As you can see, there's a fountain in the middle. But that's basically where I started the video to show you Reunion Tower, the place we're in today. The second location we visited yesterday was the Dallas County Courthouse, this building right there. And like I mentioned in the video, it does kind of look like a castle, doesn't it? In yesterday's video, we also took a look at the three tallest buildings in downtown. Let me know if you can tell which ones those are. 
Those are all the locations that we can see from here, but let me show you one that we are visiting tomorrow. That right there, you guys, is Dealey Plaza, infamously known for being the assassination site of John F. Kennedy, and his assassination is covered in controversy and conspiracy theories. I'll tell you more about that tomorrow. Just a sneak peek though, this is the building from where he was shot, and I think investigations concluded that he was specifically shot from that window that I'm indicating on the screen. Oh my goodness guys, I almost forgot, but that right there, that bridge, that is another location that I would like to show you in a video. However, I don't know if the weather will allow, it's supposed to snow on Thursday. So we'll see, but I'll try my best to bring that to you. All right, you guys, so that's how it looks during the day. Like I said, I'll be coming a second time to show you the views at night. So see you in a bit. And just like that, you guys, we are back. Let's go inside and check out the views at night. Boom, that right there, you guys, is downtown at night. Check out all those lights. I think what I wanna do right now is actually point out the different locations that I did earlier to see how they compare. That right there, you guys, is Pioneer Plaza. As you can see, it looks very dark. Not a lot of lights in the park. That building right there is a train station. And that over there is the parking lot. That right there, you guys, is the Dallas County Courthouse. Not a lot of lights on on the building, so it looks kind of dark. That right there, you guys, is Dealey Plaza. Like I said before, that is the site of John F. Kennedy's assassination, which we're going to visit tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. And over there in the distance, you can see that is the Margaret Hunt Hill Bridge. I think it's cool how even though it's dark, you can still see the cables from the top to the bottom. It looks like a, like a spider web or something. So what do you guys think? Would you rather come here during the day or at night? If I had to be honest, I would choose the night just because the lights from the buildings and the rest of the city make it look like a light show, which is really cool in my opinion. And just like that, you guys, the video comes to an end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video as much as I did, I'm gonna ask you to please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more interesting and cool travel videos just like this one. And just to remind you to always be kind, have an open mind. I'll see you next time.